Right, this is the X250 frame from Terry on RC Groups with uh, KK2 board mounted on it. Uh, finally got around to tuning my uh, to tuning the board to get uh, the response I need for Acrobatic. It started off rough, not easy because the stock settings were way off. It was good and aggressive to fly, but when I tried to flip it the first time, it just did one of those really slow loop and pretty much landed like this didn't manage to make the, quite the loop around so then I seeked help to find out what kind of settings I needed for stick scaling to in order for it to flip and then a uh, nice guy helped me out on RC groups and I needed to pretty much triple more than triple my stick scaling on this in order to do acrobatics with it so uh, the quad is repaired now the stick scaling is set and uh, tried this already it's flying wonderfully very very stable acrobatics so I'm going to show a bit of that today uh, very windy I'm sure you're hearing uh, the wind in the microphone I'm using new batteries too now I got some uh, RCX uh, hobby batteries from uh, myrcmart.com I really like these batteries I don't know what exactly they are but um, compared with uh, nanotechs that I've tried uh, they, they're way way more powerful so so far so good I'm really happy with them it's 3 S batteries 1300 mAh and as you can see fits nicely under the frame as opposed to the big 2200 mAh I was using before it was too heavy my motors were getting really hot so this is much 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 better battery for this size quad now and it shows the way it flies it's just got, it's got a lot less weight to it flies a lot nicer so let's go ahead and have a look at this wish me luck I tend to be able to fly real well when the camera is turned off and when I turn the camera on I crash but let's have a look See that how easy it is to flip and it stabilizes right away just amazing it's like see that and like I'm a beginner now that's what you got to keep in mind I'm not a professional a very experienced pilot but this is flipping easy just give it some cyclic hold it for a bit watch it flip that's it and the beauty about this is this look let me show you this is what I really like about the about whoop goodness it's what I really like about this quad this land like this and then let's say let's say that you thought okay uh, this was flipping too fast this was flipping too slow for me you go on here you go into stick scaling which is very user friendly on the LCD display up the stick scaling a little bit you know increments of maybe 10 at a time and then arm the board go back and fly flip still not fast enough for you land tune it up it takes like literally a second to change the setting the stick scaling setting on the board here and then up you go uh, and try it again and if it flips too fast then of course you just decrease the stick scaling on it so this is just uh, yeah, this is really nice, really nice feature on this board. One more thing too is this little guy I like. This little thing right here. It's a little lipo alarm that comes with this. You need to collect, connect, uh, you need to connect, uh, this is a, a wire I got here. You need to connect the battery to the board. So a little bit of soldering needed to install this. But it comes with the board, very easy to install. And uh, you can go again in the LCD display and set the voltage at which you want the beeper to be so it's basically an integrated low voltage lipo alarm on this which is nice because you basically are not going to run out of power and you can set it so that you land it with safe voltage in your batteries which will ensure that your batteries last a long time for you so again very nice feature of this board okay so enough talking so a couple more flips maybe a roll or two and then uh I'm gonna have to head to work because I'm on my lunch break here now. You on the board?
see how stable it gets. Just let go of the cyclic after it comes around and it stabilizes itself. It's amazing. Whoop. I am not sure what happened here. It just uh, started decreasing power on me. Let me arm it. There's no way I'm low on battery on this yet. Let's see. Oh. Oh no. Look here. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. I think I think what happened here is under the pressure with the flip, this arm bent sideways a little bit, and then it started drifting sideways. So you know, I might end up getting some metal standoffs for these ones here. Let me show you. I might end up getting metal standoffs for these little guys here and deal with the bit of extra weight. Because I've noticed this happen a few times now, where the, the, the arm will bend a bit and, and it stays bent in that position. I think that's what happened, but I'm not sure. Let's have a look at a full fly for me now. Yeah, I think that's what happened. See how stable it stabilizes itself? Unbelievable. All right, that's all I can show for now. I have to go to work. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers.